Hello, welcome back to another video on my thought on the speculation market. I'm shooting this video the day after the news broke that Adam Warlock is going to be in Guardian of the Galaxy 3. Needless to say, I saw one book this morning. If I can remember to edit this video later and slide it in, it was with my comic shop. That's one of the things that I like about my comic shop because I can send in books ahead of time, keep it in inventory, not list it live, and then when the news broke, I put it out there live with a reasonable price, right below GPA high, and boom, so quickly, no complaint there. The big question is, what next, right? Yeah, I still got a whole bunch. Um, I had this book graded like, I think a couple years ago, but I held on to it. I have graded and slapped and sold probably four or five copies in the last two years, but this was the highest one, the highest grade, and I held on to it. so. I probably will ship this to Comic Link. Not sure yet. I, have, I haven't decided yet, but I can do that. No rush. No rush, okay? The market certainly liked that book, and of course, the market also liked this book, right? Yeah, I have two 8.5 and a 9.0 CBCS, as you can see right there. Yeah. I probably will sell, given that I have three copies and I have more. I think I have at least one more copy of this book and one more FF67 at CGC right now. Um, there's plenty of time to just start shooting the movie, right? They just, they just announced it, so there's plenty of time between now and whenever the first trailer out. I probably, here's my plan, I probably will set one up to Comic Link for the November auction. I probably will send this book and one of the copy to my comic shop and list it when the trailer come out next year or whenever and then the last copy should i still have a copy left would be maybe before the movie launch okay so assuming that this is every copy that i have unless i buy more <laughs> um but that's how i approach selling hot books okay is it a surprise? I, I, I never gonna understand this hobby uh, because we know about Warlock and the Cocoon for a couple of years now, right? So I've been hoarding these books, I've been buying them, slapping them, so I just don't get why some people decide to buy it now. Not that I'm complaining, okay? Because there are certainly a little fever with these books, so I should do okay with them regardless. But yeah, I can't say enough about, you know, anticipating what the market's gonna do, stay ahead of the game. I, you know, my advice to those that like to play, like to participate in the speculation game in this hobby is that if you know, why wait? There is no waiting for someone to shoot the starting gun, right? For you to go and buy the book. It makes no sense, but hey, I'm not complaining, okay? Certainly, if you want to save money and you want to own the book, you had many chances the last two or three years to buy that book a lot cheaper, right? So, it is what it is, okay? 
I take advantage of the market, the way the market is. If not, now, if the market stop behaving this way, certainly I will stop doing what I'm doing, right? But as long as the market behave this way, wait for the news to be announced, wait for the trailer to come out. If people keep waiting for things to pay more, I'd be happy to take the risk and buy it earlier, lower, cheaper. Okay, I'm willing to sit a year or two. Some of these books have been slapped for over a year, so it's okay. I have time. Okay, and I will continue to do this as long as the market rewards me. That's the key. The key is eventually, who knows, there will be a crash if there is one. Eventually, the market will wise up. Eventually, the participant in this hobby will wise up and stop FOMO into books. There's always that chance, right? And when and if that happens, then I will stop doing what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.